Emma Noble, I'm the Food for Life Partnership Director and we're here today at Sheet Row to celebrate the fantastic achievements of the Food for Life Partnership Schools. The award's been presented by Hugh Fernie Whittingstall. It's more than an award ceremony. We've invited schools to bring along their homegrown school produce to cook with on the Food for Life Partnership cooking bus and also we're going on a farm tour. So we're here today with schools, caterers, policy makers, farmers, allotment growers to celebrate the fantastic achievements of these wonderful schools. I'm Hugh Fernie Whittingstall and I'm here today to support the Food for Life Partnership who I believe are doing fantastic work helping schools to improve their food offering for the kids. It's impossible to exaggerate how important it is that we feed our kids well when they're at school. Uh, their physical and mental and even emotional development depends on us getting that absolutely right. And given that kids eat at school pretty much every day, it's so important that we give them a really good start. Food for Life Partnership uh, ensures that the very best nutritional value of the food, they also have the environmental goals in mind of locally sourced food, uh, also the welfare issues of the meat that's supplied are, are, are very much on the agenda. So it's a complete package for schools who really want to look after their kids well and feed them right. My name is Miles Brenner, I'm the Chief Executive of Garden Organic, one of the partners in the Food for Life Partnership. All the schools who take part in the partnership um, establish school gardens and Garden Organic works with the pupils in helping with the planting calendar as well as um, helping them manage the gardens organically. These are some vegetables we brought from St Catharines which we've grown ourselves. We've got leeks, parsnips, winter lettuce, herbs and cabbage. I'm Rita Cormack and I'm Executive Director of the Focus on Food campaign, one of the partners within the Food for Life partnership. The schools that we're celebrating today have all established cooking clubs and they're cooking with local, seasonal and organic ingredients. And the gold schools are committed to at least 12 hours of cooking every year. We're making samosas to eat later. We've got some peas, potato, carrots. My name is Patrick Holden. I'm the director of the Soil Association, which is the lead partner of the Food for Life Partnership. One of the important elements of the Food for Life Partnership, which the Soil Association champions, is farm links, which enables children to visit farms and learn where their food comes from. Yeah, we're here today to pick up our silver award that um, we've achieved through the Food for Life Partnership. And we're just on the farm visit now, and uh, we have strong ties from our school with the uh, Swillington Organic Farm. We're from Crondon Primary School, and we're here to collect our silver award, and we're on a farm tour. I'm Joe Harvey, I'm Director of the Health Education Trust. Um, Health Education Trust pioneered whole school approaches to food policy in the early 90s. It's really exciting to be here today to celebrate the awards to these schools because all these schools will have developed policies like these through the school nutrition action groups which are the way they pull together pupils, staff, parents um, and caterers to plan their way forward through the project to the success that they've got today.